Hello everyone, welcome back to Fashion for Queens. So good to have you all here again. If you try out any of our tutorials, please don't forget to drop a comment and I would love to see a picture. You can send it to our Facebook or Instagram page at Fashion for Queens. The link will be on the description box. So for this video, we're going to be making a kimono apron top. A very lovely top, good for the summer. We're making it today and so I hope you enjoy this video. And please, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe. So let's get right on. So for this project, you need at least one yard of fabric. Mine is 30 inches and the length of my top is going to be 40 inches. For this project, you need the fabric to be below your it's fine when it is below your knee. So I my length is 40 inches so all we need is our shoulder measurement and our waist length waist length is 15 inches you can to mark it there and to my shoulder slope to get the shoulder slope i'm taking three inches so i'm going to cut my shoulder slope i folded my fabric into four so I'm going to be cutting the back and front at once. So my shoulder is 40 divided into 2, 7, but I do not need all that. I'm going to be taking 3 inches away from 7. So my shoulder is 4 inches plus half inch allowance. This is my shoulder. For my neckline, it's I'm going to take 3 and a half for my neckline. So as you can see, this is my neckline. And then for the length. This is going to be a total neck, high neck. I'm going to take in two inches. Two inches. So we're going to cut down. Remember, this is a half inch allowance. We are just going to be connecting this to the waist length. Then give yours a call. But I'm just going to make it straight. So we're going to be cutting this now. Yes, yeah, so there it is. So this part, we're going to open it. Remember, we folded it, so we're going to be opening this part. This is the front and the back. This is what it looks like. For the back, I want us to alter it a little. It should be a little different from the front, so you can use your ruler or you can just go ahead and measure four inches. So I'm adding half inch allowance and trace it off because I want the back to be straight and just give this a cut there. Length there, give it an back. So, here we have the front and then we have the back. So, what you do next is take this to your sewing machine, you show the, sew the shoulders, and you can use. The bias to finish the corners, or you can fold it. You finish the corners and you finish the bottom. Lastly, well, before we do that, we want to open the back of our top. Since it's going to be a total neck, we want to open it so that it will be easy for us to put on. So I'm using four inches to open it. So I'm opening it now. Use it by us to finish this. So take it to your sewing machine. So after hemming round, this is what it looks like. This is what we have now, and this is my band that I'm going to use to tie as a belt. Now you can cut out your turtleneck if you want your top to be pure turtleneck, but I want to use a bias to finish the neck so it's to match my 
belt. But you can go ahead and make yours a tuck neck, maybe one inch or one and a half inch if you want yours to be a tuck neck. So I'm just going to use my bias now to finish the neck. We are done with the neck, we are done with the belt and everything. So this project does not take up to 15 minutes, I don't think so. So it's very simple and easy. So I'm going to hang it on the mannequin now to show you how it's going to look when you put it down. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification button to get notified when we upload new videos. So see you on the next.